Hello guys. In this video I want to tell you about how I deal with the situation when I forget to resume my ride in Strava and lose part of the track. For those interested in only step-by-step -step guide, here is time code. For others there will be some explanations about the Strava, the problem and the process of the development of the solution to the problem. So stay tuned and you won't regret it. I like to ride the bicycle in my free time. And it became way more interesting if I record some statistics about the activity. For example, a travel distance, average speed or heart rate. For this purpose, I use the app called Strava. It allows you to record the information about your ride with the help of GPS sensor in your smartphone. And after the ride, Strava drives your path on the map, builds a graph of your speed alongside the graph of elevation during the track and estimates burned calories and uh, time spent in each power zone. Most of the time, app works great, but yesterday I forget to press the resume button after I finished my big tasty at McDonald's and continued the ride. As a result, only 10 of 40 kilometers were recorded. To not mess up my stats, I wanted to add my activity manually, but manual activities in Strava allows you to provide only distance and time duration of your ride. So there will be no pretty map of the road in my activity and uh, I in the future and my friends won't be able to see when I was on this ride. Another option was to upload the activity from file. And there are several file formats supported, .tcx, .fit and .gpx. I randomly chose .gpx and tried to find an online editor for this format. I found the following. gpxeditor.co.uk Using my timeline in Google Maps and correction from memory, I was able to reproduce my road on the map. But when I tried to upload the generated file, Strava said that there are no time data in the track, so the file is not supported. And uh, on the support page, they show the part of the uh, .gpx file that uh, represents point without timestamp. What was interesting about this part of .gpx file is that the file format seems based on XML, so I decided to check example uh, .gpx file in wiki. And it proves that I was right. I knew that there are lots of libraries for all popular programming languages for parsing and manipulating XML. So it will be easy to write small scripts that will add timestamp to points in that .gpx file. I knew the start and the end time of the ride. So I can divide overall time by number of points in the track and just add fixed time period on each point. In this case, speed graph would be highly fluctuated like this, because uh, the distance between points is always different, but the time is always equal. The second method for calculating timestamps would be to calculate overall distance and divide it by overall time period. This will be average speed. And then calculate time period between each two points in that way, so the speed would be equal to the average speed. It can be done by just dividing the distance between two points uh, by average speed. With this method, the speed uh, graph would be always on the same speed, which is the most close uh, to reality solution using the available information. Now I want to explain the implementation of the script that adds timestamps to the points in that .gpx file. I called it gpx track timestamp adder. First of all, we have main function that parses arguments given to the program. So we call program with uh, first argument its file name of the gpx file. Second argument is uh, date time of start time and uh, date time of write end time. Next, uh, I parse the date time of start and end of the write with built-in 
the time module in Python. It has a strp time function that with first argument the timestamp and second argument it is format of the timestamp provided or how to parse it. So days, months, years, uh, just letter T, so that it's hours, minutes and seconds. The same for the end time. Next we call gpx at time with average speed function. Here it is. It uh, also takes gpx file name start and end time. First of all, in this function, I call function parse of uh, XML E3 element 3 module. It's a built in model for parsing XML files. This uh, method opens the file and then parses it and then builds the tree of XML file. In the second line, I get root node. As you can see in uh, GPX file, root node would be this uh, GPX node. After that, uh, I examined uh, the structure of uh, the generated GPX file and I see that the first children node of the root node will be TRK or track node. Next, in this loop, I calculate uh, overall distance for all track. For this, I iterate in child of the TRK node and examine if uh, tag of this child node is equal to Tirka seg. When I printed uh, the text, I saw that XML parsing library actually adds uh, this uh, X XML schema URL to the, as you can see here, uh, to the names of text. So the child tag should be XML schema URL and uh, Tirka seg. After that, I just print the point in Terkasek and then I calculate distance between the first point Terkapt and the second point Terkapt2 with the function that I get from Stack Overflow to calculate the distance in meters from longitude and latitude of uh, two points. And also here is conversion from uh, string because uh, this attribute of the node tirkpt is actually a string, not a float. And then call the function that I found in Stack Overflow to calculate distance from longitude and latitude. Okay, so once we have overall distance, we calculate overall time data by uh, subtraction start time from end time. And then I calculate average speed in meters per second. So I get overall distance in meters and divide it by total seconds in overall time day. So it will be average speed in meters per second. Next, uh, I have a loop that uh, modifies uh, XML tree that we have in memory uh, by adding timestamps to the tier kpt nodes. So we also iterate for child node in tier k, examine if child tag name equal to tier k sec, and then add current timestamp. Next I increase current timestamp by z time that uh, we will make the speed on, on this segment between two points equal to average speed. So I calculate this time period between two points by this formula. I divide distance between these uh, two points, tirkpt1 and tirkpt2, by known function tirkpt distance that we used before. And then I divide this distance by average speed. So I can increase current timestamp by this value. And I just add this timestamp with uh, this function that creates new node time then adds text to this node text to this node like here and then append this time node to the tier capital node as a child and also i format uh, this uh, time time that provided here by method of uh, date time object that is timestamp strf time that uh, requires one argument uh, is uh, format of the date time that should be used for formatting string output of this object i found this by uh, 
searching in Google example Garmin example GPX file and I found uh, this link because when I provided a format like this Strava said that uh, this format is unsupported so now we have uh, our XML tree with uh, time node and timestamp added to each tier capity node. Uh, we can write uh, this tree to temporal file called temp gpx and examine its content. As you can see, if we compare to our previously generated file, there was this header uh, that is required by Strava. So if we upload uh, this file temp gpx to Strava, uh, it won't work and upload activity browser file git mgpx it said that uh, the file type in is unrecognized so we should uh, add the header that is required like this and then we need to remove this and with zero parts of uh, tag name so in uh, vim you can do this by this command search for ns0 double dot and remove it globally okay oh i forget to close gpx gpx node gpx node now we can upload this file and it should work Okay. duplicate because i uh, already uploaded this right but uh, the file is not said that it is unrecognized so strauss successfully parsed the file and detected that uh, information provided in this file is already in the one of uploaded activities so i have uh, this function fix improper formatting that uh, does the same that we have done before so, this function read file temp gpx then it replaces all ns0 text in the file then it splits all file content by a new lines so we have the array of lines here and then i remove uh, the first line because this uh, node is in unsupported format and have insufficient information and then i just recorded this uh, header of write gpx file by multi-line string then i can continue this uh, header with uh, text of the file and uh, write it to the output file output gpx and uh, you can see output gpx file it has the same values that in uh, mgpx but with right formatting i know that uh, the method of solving the problem in uh, this fixing proper formatting function is uh, very hacky it should be a better way to do this but uh, it is the fastest way without deep diving into the documentation of uh, xml parsing libraries and uh, configuring it to output the right content so now i can show you how the script works i will remove this output and then we will have only untitled gpx file i will run gpx track timestamp adder with untitled gpx file and uh, start time 15th of june 2020 18:30 and 15th of june 2020 23:20 and time you see it printed some debug information and uh, also you can see that there is temp and untitled gpx file they are updated and uh, uh, and also output gpx file and this file can be uploaded to the strava now so let's recap how to use my uh, tool for adding timestamp to a gpx file step by step first of all you need to draw all your road inside the uh, online gpx editor for example gpx editor com uk next download your file here it is next you can uh, download my code if, and figure out how it works uh, but for your convenience i created online environment so it is more easier to set up 
So you need to copy this file to the online environment and then just run the following command. A Python 3, gpx track timestamp adder, it's name of the script. Next, uh, the first argument is uh, file name. The second argument will be a date time of uh, start of the write. So it will be 19th of June 2020 and time 13 zero and end of the right will be 19th of June 2020 and time 15 o'clock next uh, run the script and you can see that uh, there is output gpx file now you can download all files from this online environment then you need uh, extract this archive and upload this output gpx file to Strava. You can do this by clicking the plus button and upload activity. Then select uh, browse and select uh, the output gpx file. Now you can see the Strava successfully parsed the file and here the activity is uploaded. 40 kilometers, exactly 2 hours. Average speed uh, 20 kilometers per hour. And it is all for this video. If uh, the video was useful to you, or at least you enjoyed watching it, please consider pressing the like button and uh, subscribing to my channel to get the future videos. So good luck guys, bye!